Hi, I'm Ben Sarre from Otago Fishing Game. Landlocked Chinook salmon are found here in Otago, in Lakes Wanaka, Wakatipu, Dunstan, and here in Lake Hawia. Salmon in these southern lakes have been landlocked since 1953, when the Roxburgh Dam was built, making the Australian one of the purest in the country. Generally not as large as their sea-run forebearers, these fish are normally around the half a kilo to one and a half kilo in size. But they're great fun to catch and delicious on the table. I'm going to run through a few techniques for catching landlocked salmon in our southern lakes. Salmon are found throughout the lakes throughout the year. However, during spring and autumn, they quite often congregate in key areas. During autumn, the salmon will congregate around our larger river deltas in the lakes. During the spring, the salmon will build up in very large numbers around places like the dam walls in Clyde or at Hawia, the neck in Hawia, or around the Devil's Staircase in Lake Wakatipu. For most anglers, the most accessible way to catch these fish is from shore. Casting and retrieving spinners and soft plastics is a reliable way to catch these fish during spring and autumn. There are as many variations as lures as there are anglers, but as a general rule, Anything bright or shiny is good for salmon. When casting off the shore, having a heavier lure can sometimes help because it'll get you a little bit more distance and it'll help sink down to the depth where the salmon are holding. For fishing these lures, a good technique is to cast away from the shore as far as you possibly can. Allow the lure to sink down toward the bottom. Although salmon will be found at all depths, generally they will be found in that lower third of the water column. A good way to tell how deep your lure is fishing is to use the countdown technique. Once the lure hits the surface of the water, start counting inside your head. One, two, three, four. Take note of the number as soon as the line goes slack when the lure hits the bottom. Next time you cast out, start counting again, but start retrieving just before the lure hits the bottom. For example, if you counted to 50 inside your head when it hit the bottom, with the next cast, start retrieving at number 45. For retrieving the lure, a slower retrieve can often be better because it'll keep that lure down and at depth. Retrieve slow, but just fast enough to get a good action out of the lure. Having a landing net is handy for landing your fish, as many of these areas are quite steep and beach la landing options can be limited. For those with boats, a few other techniques are available, such as trolling and jigging. There's a few different trolling techniques, and these are lead lines, paravanes, and downriggers. Lead lines, or lead lining, is using a heavy rod and reel setup with a lead cord line. The lead cord line will allow the line to sink down to the depth that the fish are holding at. The line has a different colour every 10 metres, and as a general rule, every 10 metres of line will sink to around 1 or 2 metres. So if you have 8 metres of line out, it'll sink down to between 8 and 16 metres, depending on the speed of the boat. At the end of the lead line, a leader needs to be connected. So I generally use anything from 5 to 10 metres of around 3 or 4 kilo breaking strain nylon or fluorocarbon. This is attached to the lead line with something like a nail knot. Lures are similar to what would be used on the shore. Anything bright or shiny. Cobra and Tasmanian Devil lures are deadly for trolling. Paravanes are another way of achieving depth from your lure. Attach them to a medium to heavy rod and then use about a rod length of trace behind the paravane attached to the lure. Right, so we've got one on the uh, paravane at the moment. Yeah, nice silver flash. Beautiful. Ah, we have salmon. One for the paravane. Beautiful. Downriggers are possibly the top way for catching fish in our lakes. A downrigger is a heavy lead ball lowered on a winch. Using a spinning rod, cast your trolling lure far out behind the boat. 
attach the line from the spinning rod into the clip of the downrigger, then lower to the depth required. For the depth, use the sounder on the boat to locate schools of salmon. Set the lead weight for the depth that those salmon are holding at. If no salmon are seen, try and set the depth of the lure to around the bottom third of the water column. Once the fish has taken the lure, the line will be released from the clip and you can just reel it in on the standard spinning rod. Beautiful brown trout. A few more tips for trolling. Don't turn the boat too quickly. By turning the boat too quickly, the lines can tangle or the lines can drop down and start snagging on the bottom. So nice smooth corners are the key. Trolling speed is important. Try and go as slow as possible while still maintaining a good action of the lure. Many anglers when trolling will just use their auxiliary motor, using the main motor of the boat to steer. If using your primary motor, have the motor just in gear. If you are still going too fast, dragging a bucket on a rope or a sea anchor behind the boat can help slow the boat down. Hopefully, these tips will help a few anglers out there harvest a feed of tasty salmon. Tight lines and safe boating.